Hey guys, it's Ami and Mar today. I'm excited to show you how to make some tasty macarons. You can make them in all sorts of different flavors. And here is a box of treats I have for you. I actually made this from cardstock, but let's see what kind of um, sweets this holds. All right. Okay, and this one. Oh, look, this one has a strawberry macaron right here with cream and a little strawberry and this one is a um a lime okay and this looks like this is a peach and this one i'm not too sure but uh, maybe this is a honey macaron but yeah if you have any ideas you can let me know all right, this was a fun project to make because um, I tried to get the top shell and the bottom shell to look exactly the same and it has a delicious filling in the middle. And I thought it'd be fun to have a cute little topping. So this is a strawberry with a cream on top. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. <laughs> Here are the materials you'll need. The yarn I'm using today for my macaron is from Paintbox Yarns and it's 100% cotton DK. And it's a more thinner yarn and that's great for working with um, these projects. And you'll want to use a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. For round one, you are first gonna make a slip knot for your crochet hook. Okay, and then we are going to chain two. Okay, here's one chain and my second chain. Now into the first chain in um, here, we are going to do six single crochet stitch. So yarn over and come back out. You will have two loops. Yarn over and come back out and you just finished your first single crochet stitch. Now into the same um, stitch right here, you're going to do five more. Okay, so this is my second single crochet stitch. This is my third one. All together, that's one, two, three, and we want six. Okay, so here's my fourth and then my fifth and then my very last one, my sixth single crochet stitch. Okay, and then we can just pull this right here so it'll tighten up the circle. Okay, now we have six all together. Okay, you can just ignore this part here and this is one, two, three, four, five, and six. So that is our first round completed. And then I'm just going to use a stitch marker. I like to use a bobby pin to mark the end of our very first round right here. Okay, now for round two, I'm going to do two single crochet stitch in each stitch around. So at the end, you will have 12 single crochet stitches. So I'm going to do two here. It might be a little tight, but you just, there we go. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing where I come back out, yarn over and come back out. That's my first single crochet stitch. Now into the same one, I'm going to enter back yarn over and come back out, yarn over and come back out. Now I have two in that stitch right there. Okay, so now I'm gonna continue to my next stitch. So I did it right here, so now my next stitch is right here. So I'm going to do two here as well. Okay, and then into the same stitch, I'm gonna go back in and do my second single crochet stitch. 
And now I'm going to go to the, my next stitch right here. And there's my first single crochet stitch. Enter back in. Yarn over. Okay, so I'm going to continue to do, I just did two here and I'm going to do two in my next stitch right here. So that's one. Okay, into the same stitch. That's two. Okay, and then go on to my next stitch right here. That's one. Same stitch. That's two. And I came back to my very last stitch right here. And I'm going to do two in here as well. So that's one. Same stitch, that's two. Okay, and I've just completed the end of round two. I'm gonna take out my stitch marker and I'm gonna move it to the end of my very last stitch that I just did right here. So if we look at our second round, now I should have 12 single crochet stitches all around. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now for round three, our pattern is going to be two, one, two, one. And then we're going to continue with the same pattern all the way around. So at the end, you'll have 18 single crochet stitches. So let's go ahead and work up our stitches. Okay, so here we're going to have two. Okay, so yarn over and come back out. And then in the same stitch, we're going to go ahead and do my second one. Okay, now in my next stitch, I'm just going to do one. Okay, so now I'm going to repeat the pattern again. It's going to be the two here and then one. So here's going to be one. Okay, and then into the same stitch, it's going to be my second single crochet stitch. And I'm going to my next stitch. And that's going to be just one. Okay, repeat the pattern again, two and then one. So here's one and two. And then in my next stitch, just one. Okay, so I'm going to keep repeating our pattern. Here's two, so that's one and two, and then just one. Okay, repeat again, two and one. So two here. Okay, go back in. It's my second stitch. And then just one right here. Okay, and my very last set is going to be two and one. So it's going to be two here. That's one. And two. And then into my very last stitch right here. It's just going to be one. Okay, and that's the very end of round three. Okay, and then I can move this right here. Okay, so now I should have 18 single crochet stitches all around. And if I count, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. So when you're first um, starting to crochet, you just want to make sure that you have the correct amount of stitches after every round. Okay, now for um, the next round, um, I want to show you first. Um, where the front loop is, which is right here, the one nearest me, and the back loop, which is the one that's away from me. Because before we went through both stitches all together, but for the next round, I want to go through only 
one one of the loops right here sorry it's a little tight but there we go i want to go through only one right here okay because for um, round 4a we're going to go through the front loops here and then we're going to go through the back loops right here so okay before we do anything else though i want you to with um a piece of um, white yarn or your cream filling yarn you're going to cut a small piece and then in my next stitch right here let's see it's coming out through here so that's not the one but it's right here I want you to insert your hook into the back loop right here which is the one that's away from you and then you're gonna get grab this white yarn and pull it through and so this is going to mark if you look at it it marks the back loop here right okay so that will actually help us later when we get to the end of the round all right so that's going through the back loop right there and now I want to actually go in through the front loop, which is right here. But the pattern for this round is we are going to do slip stitch decrease right here. And then we're going to do seven slip stitch and then a slip stitch decrease here. And then the rest of the seven stitches here, we're going to do slip stitch. So this is how you do that. You're going to go into the front loop only, which is just a single loop that's nearest you. Okay, and then you're going to yarn over and come back out. Okay, and now you're going to go into the next front loop only. Oh, not through both, just through one. There we go. Yarn over and come back out. But we want to do a slip stitch, so I'm going to continue on through the rest of these two stitches here. Okay, now I just did my slip stitch decrease. Okay, now for the rest of the seven here, I'm just going to do slip stitch. So into the front loop only. So that's one. And that's two. Okay. That's three, that's four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so now I'm going to repeat the pattern again. I'm going to do a slip stitch decrease here. And the rest of the stitches, I'm just going to do a um, regular slip stitch. So here's, I'm going to do that decrease again. Okay, so enter through one loop, come back out, go to the next loop, yarn over and come back out, and then continue to go out through both loops. Okay, now we're just going to do slip stitch the rest of the way, which should be seven. So that's one. Okay, and here is round 4A completed. Now I want to work on 4B, and if I look back here, can see where my um, next round is with my um, white yarn there so I want to actually do a decrease through the back loops here we're gonna do the same pattern seven slip stitch decrease here and then seven slip stitch right there so I'm gonna go ahead and insert here and then I can actually take out this yarn since I know that was just my placeholder I'm going to do a slip, slip stitch decrease. So yarn over and come back out. 
Okay, and now I'm going to go into my next stitch. Okay, because we're doing a decrease, yarn over and come back out. Continue to come out through all the loops there. Okay, now I'm going to do seven slip stitches. So that's one, oops, okay, one, and then two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, now I'm going to do a decrease again. So yarn over, come back out, go to the next one, yarn over and come back out, and then continue to go out through both. Okay, now it's just going to be slip stitch for the rest of the seven. So that's one, Okay, so now this one is completed and now I'm actually going to get my white yarn or my cream filling. Okay, and then I want to go ahead and prepare this. So I'm going to go ahead and make a slip knot as well. Okay, so now for round five, I'm going to go through the um, back loop here as well. And come back out. But instead, I'm just gonna grab this cream filling and pull through both right here. Okay, so that I do a yarn change. Okay, now for round five, and um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do slip stitch all the way around, and I should have 16 slip stitches at the end. Okay, so I'm gonna go through the back loop here. Okay, and then that's one. Okay, and that's two. And you're gonna continue all the way around. Okay, and 14, 15, and for 16, I wanna go through both of the loops actually here and do 16. Okay, and then I can cut off my yarns here and fasten off. And I just created the top shell of my macaron. Okay. So now that you've finished your top shell, you'll also want to make your bottom shell right here. Okay, because they go together. But the bottom shell is um, almost the same as the top shelves except you do rounds one through four a only so go ahead and um, make the bottom shell and do rounds one four to a and then when you get to the end you want to cut off a super long tail okay so go ahead and work up your rounds and i'll meet you when you come back so now you'll want to get your super long tail and get your yarn needle Okay, and we'll want to sew them together. Okay, so now when you're sewing your macaroon together, we'll actually want to sew in through the one, the pink um, thread right below the white part. Okay, so you see this top pink part right there? That's where we're actually gonna start sewing through so okay so here's where it ends okay and here's my first pink one right here not want to go through okay and then here I want to go through the the top loop right here and then this first one just the pink one right there pull all the way through. Okay, I'm gonna go on to my next one right here. And then go into just the pink one only. Okay, right there. Okay, and then 
as we see you can see it starting to join so we want to go all the way around close this right here I'm gonna get my stuffing and I'm going to stuff it first. All right. Okay, so we have sewn the first part of our macaroon, but we haven't gotten our perfect shape yet. So um, the way you get the perfect macaron shape is this portion where I actually sew it around one more time again, except for now this time. Okay, let me go to the top first right here. Okay, so go ahead and you want this to go all the way to the top. All right, so the way we're going to sew around this is we want to go through all three layers so that we tighten up our macaroon to get that nice rounded shape. So you're going to go through the, the two loops of our first top shelf and then you're going to go through the middle um, filling and then you're going to go through the bottom layer so you want to go through all three layers and pull close okay and then you can see that it makes it um, nice and compact here now you want to go ahead and do that and you want to go up the other way back up and then you want to continue to sew in this fashion all the way around Okay, now I can hide my end. I can just go ahead and make a knot and then go out to the other end. I'm going to go ahead and cut off. And here is my finished macaron. Okay, you can make them in all sorts of different colors and flavors. I love to see how yours comes out. And I'm going to also be coming out next with a tutorial on how to make delicious toppings for your mac macaron as well. So go ahead and look for that video. So be sure to like and subscribe. And I will catch you next time. Bye for now.